friends, welcome to Art Du Jour's Sunday, December the 18th. Wow, we are a week away from Christmas Day, and I hope that you are having a lovely weekend. Uh, today we're going to make a few all-occasion greeting cards. We made our pennants yesterday out of some scrap burlap and paper and things like that. So if you are wondering about how to make these, I mean, that's totally simple, but you know, if you want to see me make some or make some of your own or want to get a clearer picture of how this is done, then you can go to the Art Du Jour for December the 17th and see how we made some, some pennants. Today we, like I said, we're going to work with cards. I have several things that make cards here. So if you don't have card stock, don't worry about it. If you don't have printed paper, don't worry about it. Um, one of my favorite things to work with when I very first started crafting was paper grocery bags and I still love them. I like the heft of them. I like the way that uh, things glue to this to this surface. Plus it's totally one of those very green concepts, very biodegradable kind of thing. Of course, it's a paper grocery bag. Pretty simple and I think most of us have these. This is a piece of cardstock. I have a lot of cardstock because a friend of mine gave me so much. She gave me some luscious colors and ooh, it's just really just beautiful, beautiful cardstock. So I'm lucky I've got some cardstock because somebody gave me some. Another thing that makes a wonderful card is a folder. You know, this is just a, a folder. And I, I mean, if you, if you go to the, to the dollar store, you can buy, I think like packs of five or 10 that have really pretty patterns on it and things like that. So that's a good place to start too. If you don't have any of this, then just start with a plain old white piece of paper and fold it up and make yourself a little card template. I also wanted to show you guys an idea for making some embellishments. And these embellishments are handmade, homemade, really, really simple. All you do is take a, you know, just draw a little bird or something or a star or a house or whatever you want and make yourself a template. And then as you're working on other things, trace around your template on papers that you're working on. And whether it's, you know, the painted papers on your desk or it, whether it's, uh, this, this is how I like to do it a lot of times. This was a wonderful, this is the, the packaging that my Seven Gypsies junk pack, bright and beautiful, came in beautiful packaging. On the back was an idea about how to use the things in the Seven Gypsies Bright and Beautiful junk pack. I painted this side and then I'm going to use the printed side as well. So when you do something like this, what's really nice about it is you get a choice of elements. Um, like, you know, the bird. Let's take the bird, just for example. So we're gonna, we trace the bird and then we cut it out. I like to trace and have several patterns going on my bird. You can have just one pattern, that's cool. But I kinda like the way they turn out when they have several, several patterns going on. And this is just a simple little bird pattern. Oh my gosh, I've, I drew this probably two years ago, and I have used it and used it on cards and in mixed media and all kinds of things over the years. And I just keep my little bird pattern out and when I have a scrap of paper. It's also a time saver if you're, you know, if you're on the phone or if you're making a list or if you're um, journaling or whatever and, you know, you, you can always do this as you're doing something else. So this is one side of our little bird, but this is the other side. So you've kind of made two embellishments in one, which, you know, that's kind of cool. Um, okay, let's jump on our cards. I think I might have to have a couple more birds here. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut those out. I have an idea to do birds and flowers. Um, birds are something, you know, that's a, we're making all occasion cards so we could send something with a bird on it to, um, a guy 
you know, in a, a flowers, we usually go to girls, and birds can go to girls too, but I, I kind of try to, like, keep a few cards, uh, like just the guy version of cards. Okay. All right, and once you start making your own cards, it's like, oh, why did I ever go to the... You know, to the dollar store. Although I do still sometimes find myself picking up things in the dollar store when I allow my stock of cards to get super, super low. All right, the first card that we will make, let's just choose, um, let's go with this. Let's go with the folder type card. And the first thing I like to do is, um, you know, I usually like to give it a little bit of color. So whether you're going to paint it or whether you're going to spray it or whatever, I've got a little bit of Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist here. And I'm so super in love with this, uh, this color called Coffee Shop Glimmer Mist. And I didn't know this, but you shake Glimmer Mist back and forth. You don't ch -ch -ch like that, okay. Did you get that? <laughs> That's very technical there. All right, I'm just going to squirt a little bit of Glimmer Mist on here and give it a second to dry. And then I'm going to go ahead and do my bunting at the top. Um, I like these colors. Let's go for... Hmm... I like that. It's looking pretty good. And then let's finish it off with some red here. I like the way that looks. I also find that when dealing with cards, I don't have any of that, um, you know, that double stick tape, which I really, really, really like, y'all. But that stuff's expensive. And it also, like, doesn't last very long. Um, so usually I just go with a, a pretty simple adhesive and that's a glue stick. So we're going to glue stick these down. I like double-sided tape. Please don't get me wrong, but it, it doesn't last long. I really do like it when I'm making books. I think it, it's really helpful. It really holds things together when you're making like a box book or something like that. Okay, there we go. So we have our bunting done. Now here's where it just gets fun. You can just choose whatever you want and kind of just put it on the card and you can build and layer. Um, I think I'm going to go for, I think I'm going to go for some canvas here. So I've got these beautiful scraps from canvas core. And I think what I'll do, see that's not a lot of color right there, so I'm going to steer away from that. And let's just do, let's do a little bit of red. And I also love to pull out some of the thread, you know, and give everything kind of a fringy look there. So we'll do this. We'll do that. And then let's put, let's just put a bird. Uh-oh, I lost my birds. My birds flew the coop. Oh, hold on. Where did they go? Oh, there they are. <laughs> okay. I think I'm going to trim this down just a little bit. Quite, quite so much. So I think I'll do that. And then this, and then the birdie on top of there, or maybe just like that. Hmm, I'm kind of just like that, but sort of do like the brown too. Okay, let's just stick this down. Now, oh, you know what? We could turn this up this way because that kind of mimics some um, grass. And then, you know, let's do this over here. Pretend like this is a tree or something, a trunk of a tree, and our birdie can be sitting in the grass. Okay, so see what you could do is you could use this side, or you could use this side, you know, whichever. 
whichever one you want. Now for the birdie's legs, what I like to do is, um, gosh y'all, sorry, should have moved that down a little bit. Forgot about his legs. All right. Okay. Now, I like long legs on a birdie. So I am going to choose, um, what do I have over here? Oh, okay. I have some, some sprayed, uh, cardboard that I did yesterday. So, here we go. I'm going to make them little skinny bird legs. There we go. Okay. And we'll hit this with some glue stick. And there we go. Good little birdie. Happy little bird. There we go. All right. See how easy that was? I mean, it's super simple and it's really cool and it's really creative. You can, you know how much I love my little recollections pens. So I can, you know, I can add a border here or, um, you know, I can kind of snazz up the little, little pieces of bunting here. I can sort of pretend like we're, we've got our bunting on a a line or whatever, um, you know, you can do, you can do whatever you want. I can enhance it a little bit. Okay, so there's one. Uh, I've got a green one over here that I was, this is also another thing, y'all, adding a little bit of a border like this. This is a Jenny Belly technique. This is like her signature move. You squeeze out a little bit of acrylic and then you use your finger to lightly dab the acrylic along the sides. Of your piece and it really makes it pop really makes it look super keen all right let's go for our bunting I do like to kind of arrange my bunting and see make sure it all looks looks nice together I like that let's see if this oh there you go oh yeah that's really pretty all right grab your glue stick and glue that down. Children love to make cards too. I, you know, I'm, I'm always like encouraging people to make art with their children. I think that's very important and you can't get much easier than just a little simple greeting card. And a simple greeting card made by little hands. <laughs> That's an awesome thing right there. Okay. All right. This time I'm going to use some, I think that they call this tissue stock. Uh, this is a Canvas Core brand tissue stock, which I'm kind of in love with at the moment. And you can use tissue paper. You can use the piece of a napkin. You can use whatever you want. I have, this. Is, these are scraps, y'all. So this set does have a little bit of glimmer mist on it. Um, okay. All right. I like that. I like the way that looks. Also, and I know that if you've watched me for any time at all, you kind of get this, but not thinking about what you're doing. <laughs> Not like uh, obsessing over it usually mm, honestly makes the best results if you're just, you know, if you're just kind of happily plowing through your, you know, making your cards, then it kind of shows, doesn't it? You're kind of happy with what you're doing. All right. Now these are kind of, I think these legs are a little bit too long. They might be a little too fat too, but... That's all right. My lady will have some nice looking lugs. All right. There we go. And there we go. All right. So we've got two cards finished. This is also an awesome thing to, you know, during the cold months, if you want to stamp out a few things or trace a few things and then go downstairs where it's snuggly and warm and sit on the sofa and, and play with some cards, then that's always a nice thing to do too. All right, the last card that we're going to do today, y'all, is the one 
where we're using the the um, grocery bag, the paper grocery bag. So next time you're in the market and they go, do you want paper or plastic? Maybe you'll say, oh, I'd like to have some paper because I know what I'm going to do with that when I get home. So we'll turn a little bunting here. I might want to stick with things that are super colorful because we do have a lot of brown going on with the, you know, with the paper bag. And, oh, that's really pretty. Okay, well, let's do that. Let's stick this down. There we go. Remember yesterday we kind of tattered those up by smearing them with some white acrylic. Kind of made them have a little bit of a shabby appearance. Whoops. There we go. All right. Now for this one, I think what I want to do is I think I'm going to, I've already stamped just a little bit of this canvas with my friend Bunny's um, leaf stamp, which I just, I'm crazy about. I think what I'd kind of like to do is let's just see if my text stamp, how my text stamp looks. Oh, yay. Okay, I like that. Let's get some more of that text stamp on, on our paper bag. That looks really cool. All right, now I want to cut this out. A little bit right here. All right, I like that. I think I'm going to use one of these really neat, old, old, old Hallmark butterfly stamps. Well, it's not a butterfly, it's a, it's a moth. So I think I'm going to put her right there. Kind of like that. All right. For this big piece of canvas, we'll need, we'll need something a little stronger than our glue stick. So we'll just use a little bit of tacky glue. There we go. A little bit of tacky glue. I love those raveled edges, and let's stick our little moth on. The little moth is called a peacock moth. And then maybe, um, maybe a sentiment here. Let's, let's do, um, A smile. And these are the Tim Holtz. Tim Holtz words. Share a smile. I like that. I'm gonna use my recollections pen. I'll just scroll down the lettering just a little bit. Okay, there we go. Alright, so we've got cards done three ways. We have a grocery bag card made from a paper grocery bag. We have a card made from your typical cardstock, and we have one that we've made from a file folder. So no matter what you make your cards from, recognize that a handmade effort sent to someone by mail is such an appreciated little gift. It says that you care. It says that um, you took the time to make something that was just for them. So I really do appreciate you guys joining me today. This has been a fun art du jour. We've kind of stretched this one over a couple of days, but I hope that you'll try and make yourself some homemade cards because they're a lot of fun. I know that the kids are home for, for holiday and maybe they would have 
fun just sitting at the table one day and making some cards. Really simple shapes. Kids love them. Thanks for joining me, y'all. I appreciate it, and I will see you tomorrow.